Can you tell us a little bit about the sort of how your identity as a, as a feminist evolved or developed? Yeah, so I have to say I, I, uh, I was a, a late bloomer. Okay. As I really have to say, I mean, although I remember I, uh, so I would have been a, you know, a teenager in the early 70s and there's lots of talk going along and things in the media, but none of it really resonated with me. I wasn't very politically aware and I couldn't really pinpoint the beginning moments for me in my senior year at university when I was uh, being interviewed for graduate scholarships. Those were my very first experiences. I was, uh, I was being interviewed for one scholarship, Shirk Scholarship in, uh, in Brunswick. So we were taking a train from Anacash to Sackville, New Brunswick, and there were three nominees from the university, another woman uh, majoring in French and a man majoring in sociology and myself from psychology. And when we went to those interviews, um, the other woman, when she got on the train and started talking, made a comment about the possibility that women might not be treated as fairly in this process as men, which was a comment that really shocked me in my naivety. Um, didn't think too much of it. Uh, we went to the interviews. She was interviewed first. Uh, these interviews were supposed to last, uh, I think they said, a, uh, whatever the length of time was, I don't recall. Anyway, she came out in quite a bit less than the stated length of time and um, spoke very angrily about her experience and they, she felt they were dismissive of what she was saying she intended to do and so on and was very angry about it. And, uh, that I went into the interview. I didn't have that same sense of dismissiveness, but I, th the questions I found just, they were asking me things that didn't huh. seem to fit appropriately. It happened to be no psychologists on, on the table, but I, again, too naive and unskilled enough and unknowledgeable enough to, to understand how to respond or why the questions didn't feel quite right to me. But do, do you remember any of those questions? Um, well, just for example, uh, my um, interest in those days was largely in learning, psychology of learning. And so one guy was asking me a question about, well, what can you tell me about Piaget's theory? Well, I'd taken one developmental psych course in which Piaget had been mentioned for one class, and, and that was in my second year. So I said that I really didn't know this Piaget person that it was vague to me and this person said well you should he's a great learning theorist well if you took learning in psychology in the 1970s they were and they're probably still not going to talk about Piaget but it was like this guy who wasn't a psychologist was saying to me in the interview that I wasn't doing well and I just found that odd uh, so it was things like that nothing very direct and so um, and again my interview didn't last nearly the time that they had specified so I came out and Marcel, the guy, went in after a few minutes, and like an hour and a half later, finally he came out talking about what a wonderful interview he, it had been and what a terrific experience and so on. And of course, all the interviewers were male. I mean, the, and so, and she, the, you know, she and I looked at each other and thought, wow, this was such a different experience. So that was the first, yeah. you know, sort of click experience for me. Yeah. Um, and of course, he got the scholarship. <laughs> 